One of your former presidents, Thomas Jefferson, said, Information is the currency of democracy. But what about real money, as some adherents of basic income demand to achieve democracy? Would you say economical independence, as it is proposed with basic income, is a must to realize constitutional rights? Well, um, the, uh, that, and so was Thomas Jefferson said that information is the currency of democracy. That's the quote? Yes. Wow, that's, that sounds so modern. It sounds like an information age quote. It's hard to believe that was said by Thomas Jefferson all those years ago. It sounds like somebody would, something somebody would say in response to all this internet politics that's going on these days. Uh, so, I don't know that there's one thing I could say is the currency of democracy in, uh, in, in, in these days. Um, uh, but I do think that basic income is an important human right. Uh, I argue for this in some of my other writings, not in the books about Alaska. And I argue this because I think that poverty and destitution are the biggest threats to freedom that aren't treated in most modern countries today, is that no one has the right to come between you and the resources that you need to survive. Um, no one has a right to say, you, we've got these resources and you can't touch them to make your own living unless you provide services to us. But that's exactly what most countries in the world do. All benefits are conditional on working for someone else other than just for yourself. Uh, and our ancestors did not do that. For, for hundreds of thousands of years, our ancestors were hunter-gatherers, and even the first farmers did the same thing. If the hunter-gatherers and the early subsistence farmers had a big wilderness out there, and everyone was allowed to hunt and gather. You didn't have to ask anybody's permission to go out and hunt and gather. You uh, could camp with a group of people if you wanted, but none of them could stop you from going out and hunting. None of them also could stop you from breaking off from the group and doing things your own way if you wanted to. Uh, and so this idea, and, and you, in those kind of societies, they're not, they're not wealthy, they don't have the technology that we have, of course, but they don't have the kind of desperate poverty and destitution that we have in the modern world today. The modern world has actually made a lot of people poorer than our ancestors were tens of thousands of years ago. Uh, and this, I think, needs to be a basic human right. It's not possible in the world that we have to create conditions where everyone can go for it for themselves or even where everyone could farm for themselves. Uh, and so the thing that we can do in replace of that is, is to have a basic income. So there's enough money that you can get your basic needs met by buying them with cash. That's one of the most important things that I think basic income needs to do. And it needs to do that in advance of your entering into the social system. If you have this guarantee that you're not you're not going to starve, you're not going to lack for your basic needs, then you enter cooperation to get better off. You enter that cooperation as a confident and free person. And this is something that I think we need to embrace as a human right, that we won't take that away from people. We, the real thing that's going to make basic income strong is if people believe in that, that I cannot come between my brother and the resources he needs to survive. Now, that's it. So that being, and I think it's crucial to you being a free person in politics as well as in economics. You want to enter these systems you, as a free person, you've got to enter them without being desperate for your needs as so many struggling poor around the world are. But, that, but when we have that, whether it needs to be enshrined in the Constitution or simply done by legislation is not so important. What really protects it is people's belief that that is part of what you need to be free. If people believe that, if enough people believe that, it is protected whether it's in a constitution or not.